All right, here we go. Continuing on from the education that we already started or we've been learning. Um, first of all, let's get some, some more settings out the way. I'm trying to just introduce you to settings little, little by little. To turn your grid on, I usually have my grid on at one millimeter. You have a, a grid here, or you can go into your setup and go into options. And under here, you can set up all your general stuff like showing your grid, uh, closest join. We'll go into that later. And here's your grid guides. So your grid is off or on. And then I set mine up to, uh, you can turn it on, and you see I set it up to one millimeter. And you'll know why later. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But the biggest reason you want to do that is because if you're trying to do stitches, like a satin stitch really isn't going to go over past 12 millimeters, right? And that'll make your machine ka-chunk, ka-chunk. It'll make a really weird noise. So this will also tell you about your sizing and the way you're going to size things up, right? So I see here that this is 12, 14 millimeters. And if I want that to be satin stitches, then I need to scale this down a little bit. You can go from metric to U.S. right here. And usually what people do is, let's say they'll go to less than 2.2 inches, like cap size. Okay? Uh, that's for the height. And that usually will give you get you in the ballpark that you need to be into. Now, then you switch back to metric. And you press your K, if you remember, to lock this down. So there's your grid. And now, to measure things, to know whether or not it's too far, if you don't want to just count that, hit your M M, your M key there, and then you click once, and then you can measure. So that's 11 millimeters. You hit your enter key to do it again. So that, that might give me a little chunk. Let's do it again. If I was to stitch this out, 11 millimeters is kind of long. Uh, I can do it, but you might get a little chunk, right? So that means that I might want to scale this down even more. That's 11.3 millimeters. So remember, as you're doing this, um, you're going to have to keep in mind of what your machine can do. If you know your machine can't jump 10 millimeters, then you need to scale this down. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Shift-K, and I'm going to scale this down a little bit more so I make sure that I won't get any chunks when I stitch this out. So let's just go down to 2 inches, and hopefully that will take care of it. If not, we'll just have to be chunking. All right, so this is a simple logo, pretty uh, noticeable to everybody. It's FedEx. Uh, obviously, you know, don't just go using this on clothes or whatever, right? It's supposed to be for educational purposes only. Uh, do as you will. Let's go back to metric here. Now, success leaves clues. I always say that. What you want to do is look at how the machine will are the people that digitize these fonts inside of the software digitize it that way you can know how to digitize it so over here i have fedex written out and any font is really okay i have fedex written out and you can see here uh, what i did was i clicked the true view off and i also turned off the stitches here right so you can just look at the frame here and you can see this is one piece this is two pieces this E is just one piece. The D here is two pieces. This E is three pieces. And this X is three pieces. So now we can cheat here and kind of see. Now remember in other classes I talked about this overlap. And you can see here, this is another good reason to have millimeters on. This is one, two and a half millimeters of overlap there. And that makes sure that we won't have gaps in our design. And here it is again, one, two and a half Two and a half, three millimeters, you can see here. Now, here we don't have as much overlap. I uh, don't know why, but we don't. But here in other places, we have that same two and a half. And here we have even more, right? This is like four or five millimeters of overlap. Let's get busy. So we're going to start here in the middle. We're going to use our column A tool, and we're going to start in with our two millimeters of overlap. Start here. You can hold the control key if you want to, to be precise. Those are all left clicks. We'll press enter. Let's take a look at it. Let's turn it blue or purple or whatever this is. So there we go. Now, 
We're going to do the same thing uh, and we're going to come around. We're going to start up here. It doesn't matter where you start because we can always connect it later. But we're going to come around here. We're going to start here. Column A and we're going to left click around. Now, this is, uh, remember to zoom in. So you can get as, and if you notice I have auto scroll on. So when I go over here, you can scroll. You want to get used to that. Auto scroll is a good thing. All right, so we went there, and now we're going to come across. We go just before the corner, so you can prepare yourself to go up there. So let's click here. These are all left clicks. Now we're going to click on the corner, and we're going to go all the way over to the corner here. Left clicks, all left clicks. We're going to come back inside again, just outside the corner, and go again. Left click. Now we're going to come down all the way down here. Left click, left click, hit enter, and we're balling right there. And that, that doesn't even really need any any editing, but if you decide you want to edit, remember, you can just hit H and go in there, get your true view, and take a look, but that looks good. Let's go over to the E. Now, remember how the E was made? It was all one, but they started over here to give a little overlap, right? So let's go look at it, and there's a little overlap there, so let's do our overlap as well. Now, we're going to have a mixture of right clicks and left clicks. Remember, I want you to get that muscle memory going on here. So, we're going to start here just so we can have some overlap. Hit your control key so you can have a straight line. And then these are left clicks. I'm going to go just before the corner there. These are left clicks. Okay. A left click. I'm going to go down in this corner here. Now, I'm going to right click right here. Right click. These are all curves, right? So right click, and we're going to remember we're going to go straight across, just like a hands of a clock. Right click, go straight over. Right click. These are all right clicks. So right click, and I'm not going in any particular space. Just kind of once you get that muscle memory, you'll know where to go. Right click, and we're going to go across straight across like this. Right click, come back over right click straight across right click these are all right clicks we're going to go straight across as much as we can right click i'm going to go straight down from here and then i'm going to before here i'm going to right click again go straight down and then i'm going to go left click left click and then boom that's a done deal that's a good looking e Let's move on to the D. Now, over here, if you remember, they had two spaces. Not too much overlap. I don't know why, but let's go ahead and get busy. We're going to come in here. We're going to do just a little bit of overlap here. We're going to right-click. And we're just going to right-click our way around just like we did before. Right-click. These are all right-clicks going around these circles. These were... Uh, a big problem for me when I first started, and you just keep doing it. What I did was, if you're having a problem with any letter, just keep attacking it. Keep going. Run right into it and do it again. These are all right clicks. Right clicks. All right, and then I'm going to give two left clicks, and there's your, your circle there. That could use a little bit of help here, but we can always reshape that if we want to. So let's keep going. A column A tool, and we're going to go straight down. Left click, left click. We're going to come all the way down here. I'm going to left click. And if you notice, I'm getting right in there, man, because I just want to get as accurate as I possibly can. All right. And you see, there is your D with a little bit of overlap. And if you wanted to come in here and do a little bit of correction, you can, because you can just pull down on this as much as you want to. Pull out a little bit. Pull down. And... Uh, I like to be as accurate as I possibly can, but remember, nobody's going to see your artwork. So if it looks like a D and it's clean and you like all your angles, then keep going, right? If you decide you want to do something different when you look back at it, then do something different. Remember, this E is, again, three pieces. It's just like the F. We start here and then we go around. So let's start again. Column A. All you have to do, if you, if you can't remember, go back and look how things are built so we know we have three pieces. So here we go. We're going to start right here in the middle again. We're going to do those two and a half millimeters. Hold our control for our overlap. Left click. 
left click and we'll left click again we'll hit enter now this is a different color right so, you know, I, I try to keep up with all the colors if I can all right so now now we're gonna start up here and do it all again so let's go column A and these are all left clicks now so left click left click I'm gonna go just before this corner here left click do this here right there in the corner left click and then we're gonna come down here again when you're on those corners you got to kind of hit them kind of close because then again we'll get into angles later now here you can come all the way I'm gonna do one more here so we already did that so now I'm gonna come all the way down come in this corner here left click and then right click that's a done deal if I'm moving a little too fast for you, you can always slow down the video. Now, this is three pieces, so let's go back and look again. So, we have two pieces here and one piece down the middle. Let's get to it. Column A. So, now, we're going to left click again. Left click. Left click. I'm going to come in a little bit for a little overlap. All right. That's it. We'll hit enter. And then we'll do it again on this side here. So, we're going to... Get right on in there so you get as less, the less editing you have to do, the better. Okay, so now we're going to come inside just a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to come up here again and do another left click. Left click again. And we're going to come all the way across. Left click. Left click. Boom. And there is pretty quick your FedEx logo. And that's a done deal. Stitch that out, man. Check it out. Make sure your machine doesn't go ka-chunk. If you wanted to do some corrections, you could. But that's a wrap for this class. We'll see you in the next one where we're going to do the entire alphabet. Peace.